Okay, a lot of people suffer from um, motor interference on their compasses, uh, and this is a demonstration of the current-based uh, compensation. So what I have here is a small uh, quadcopter. It's connected up to an APM2. Well, sorry, connected up to the mission planner. And the first test is just with no compensation applied at all. So I'm going to arm the motors. So here we are here. So we can see the current heading is 214, 215. Oops, seems to be moving a little bit. Okay, so the heading is still moving a little bit, 217. Okay, so the heading is 217. Now we're going to turn, increase the motors. <laughs> You can see there uh, the channel 3% is uh, showing 30%. And you can see my mag field here as well. So 30%, we were at 217 a minute ago. We keep on increasing it. Now we're down at 206 and it keeps on going. See my mag field is falling quite a lot as well. So we're all the way down to 196 now. I'm actually putting the throttle up even higher now, up to 70%. And you can see our heading is falling a lot. It keeps going. I'm just going to leave it there until it settles. 185. Come on, settle. Keeps on going. Okay, looks like it's kind of settling around there. So now we're going to cut the throttle. And we'll see if it comes back. So 179, coming back very quickly. It's already moved 18 degrees. 20 degrees. I have a compass to learn turned off. Okay, so it looks like it's settled back at 211. Now we're going to do the uh, compensation. So 212, 211, yeah, fine. So now we're going to go and do the um, set up the compensation here. Go into the terminal window. We go into setup. We're going to do compass mod. And it's going to be using the current because uh, I have a current monitor installed. And now I can, yep, there we go. So I have to get it over 3 amps. So you can see it's got throttle and then current right beside it. So I need to get that over 3 amps. So we're already over 3 amps. But the higher the better, actually. So you can see the Z there is 350, 2.58. If I increase it more, uh, the heading is good. The copter actually almost took off. So let's, let's just try that again. Okay, looks to be pretty stable around there. Okay, so we're going to see if that helps. So that has saved hopefully my offsets. You can see the comp vector is there. The motor comp type is current. Uh, so that should be good. We can go into the, well now we'll just do the test where we connect up again. Let's see if that helps. a little more tape here to make sure the copper doesn't move around while we wait. Okay, so 
it's at 213, 211, pretty much the same as before. So we are going to arm and try increasing the throttle again. Okay, so we're at 213. Maybe I'll just turn the copter a touch. Wrong way. Just to get us back to 211 again. I think that's where the last test was. Okay, so close enough. Anyway, let's start now. So, you can see the throttle is at 30%. Going 50%. You can see the heading is just completely solid at 212. Got up to 70%. Look, the heading's not going anywhere. It's gained by one degree. Let's cut the power. that hasn't it's hardly changed at all so if you move it around here I'll show you that the compass is actually still working see it is actually still working so it seems to have worked <laughs>